Hey guys, what is going on? Hope you're having a good day. Today we're going to be doing what I hope is the, the first in a series of videos. Um, basically, these are going to be tutorials slash guides um, where I walk you through War Thunder and, and planes in War Thunder. Um, I just out of your curiosity the other day, uh, had a look to see if there were any kind of tutorials and guides online on, on YouTube for War Thunder and a lot of them were pretty dated like years ago so uh, I thought why not have a crack at trying to do one why not um, so yeah I feel like um, there's definitely uh, there's definitely a chance to make a good video here so yeah today this first video is gonna be basically on plane flight controls because um, I feel like a lot of new players um, neglect the keyboard when they first start playing War Thunder. I feel like there's a lot of new players who will just use the mouse to fly. Um, and I, I I think it's almost impossible to actually properly play War Thunder with just the mouse and fly planes. You, you can't do it. You need the keyboard. So basically this video is going to be talking about my what I use for my keyboard controls um, and also how to use the mouse and keyboard together in order to fly a plane. So anyway, I'm going to talk quick, quickly about my binds. Um, so C is my look around button. Um, I feel like it's very easy to reach. So yeah, looking around, situational awareness. C, that's my look around button. Um, A and D are obviously my ailerons. Um, then I press Shift and S or Shift and W to control my elevators. And then Q and E for the rudder. Most of you will probably have Q and E and A and D bound to those controls already. Um, be it elevator controls, I just have shift S and W because without the shift, just W alone does the throttle um, and so does S up and down. So that's those are my controls. Pretty simple, pretty basic. Um, obviously you can set up however you want if you want to use the arrow keys or something else. Um, by all means, go for it. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to get up in the air real quick and demonstrate a bit about why flying with your keyboard is extremely important. Uh, and the differences between just using the mouse and using the mouse and keyboard together. I'll demonstrate sort of the uh, the, the drawbacks of not having a keyboard, uh, not using a keyboard to fly. Anyway, I'm going to bring my gear in here. So yeah, let me quickly demonstrate what I mean. So if I'm flying with just the mouse, so left hand is behind my back right now, and I'm just using the mouse. If I want to make a 90 degree turn to the right, it's pretty simple. All I have to do is just move the mouse, and the plane will roll to the right, and when it gets there, it will roll back to the left. Does it all for you? Pretty nice. Same again. Roll to the left. It rolls for you. Rolls back. Job done. Now that's fine for simple manoeuvres. And if you want to bank, it's very nice to be able to just slowly drag your mouse. And it looks very nice just being able to sort of have your plane bank and turn like that. But I mean, the second you start pulling more complex manoeuvres, however the shortcomings of just using the mouse start to become quite apparent. Let's say I want to make a left turn, but then quickly turn back to the right again. So I turn left, no problems here, quickly turn back to the right. It took quite a long time for the plane to roll back there. I mean, this is a, this is a Spitfire, so it's an agile plane. It does roll pretty quickly, but here, it's rolling very slow the other way. And also, it jerks your camera about quite a bit. And as you can see, we have actually not uh, turned quite uh, horizontally there. We sort of went up a bit like this and then turned, which isn't the end of the world in some scenarios. But if you want to be very precise with your maneuvers and do it ex like along a horizontal line, you've got to use the keyboard. So let me do the same turn again, but use the keyboard. See, I'm already doing it naturally. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to make a left hand turn using both the keyboard and the mouse. I'm going to use the keyboard to roll and then also to control my elevators. And then the mouse is going to be where I want to go essentially. So I'm going to make a left turn now. Three, two, one. Level out. Much, much quicker because I can control the rate at which the plane rolls. And I can also use the keyboard to, to fully use all of the elevators uh, angle. I'll make a right turn again. Three, two, one. Pointing the mouse, boom. So, so much quicker and so much more control over the way your plane rolls. 
you can see here that while it does roll for itself, it doesn't do it as quickly as possible. And in War Thunder, where every like tenth of a second matters, you need to be able to roll and pull as fast as you can. And the only way to really do that is with a keyboard. As you can see now, my elevator is fully depressed. I am turning as hard as I possibly can, whereas if I'm using just the mouse, it's quite hard to tell with the fast plane, but it does it does turn slightly slow because my plane isn't turned quite to 90 degrees, so my elevator isn't fully the way down. Now, arguably, you do use a, an element of control when you use the keyboard. As you can see, it's quite difficult to keep my guns on a horizon, but you lose that slight bit of, of accuracy for, for speed in turn. And then again, if I want to roll out, it's a lot quicker to do it with the keyboard. Because also I can counter it when I get too too much. If I'm rolling to the left, boom. I can then counter it real quick as it as it uh, levels out there. So I don't over roll. So if I do it with the mouse, rolling, rolling, rolling. It does it really slowly because if it does it like the keyboard like we do, it can actually roll to the left a bit there and then sort of take a minute to, to level out. So, But you can do that yourself. You can roll, counter it, boom. So yeah, just demonstrate there how, how much quicker your maneuvers are when you're using the keyboard. And it, it'll get more natural as you as you practice with it. Um, it. It may take some getting used to, but you you won't go back after practicing using mouse and keyboard together to make a maneuver. And of course the second benefit is, if you're using your C key, or if you're just using this, you can control your plane, but you don't have to look where your plane's going. Every time I use the mouse, I have to look where I want to go. Whereas if I'm using the keyboard, I can look over here, and now I can turn while looking directly behind me. And I can change the direction of my plane, left, right, up, down, and I can look around at wherever I want. Now in War Thunder, where situational awareness is very important, that is such a useful thing to be able to do. And again, another reason why you need to learn how to use keyboard and mouse together. And then I will demonstrate the, this by, let's say I'll, I'll pick this medium tank here. I won't be able to kill it on one run, so I'm going to have to do a second run on it. So I'll do the first run with just the mouse again, hand, by, hand behind my back, just the mouse here. I'm going to go in for a run, fire the guns. There we go, oh, not working, right, I'm going to pull back around. Already, you saw there, the plane got confused. It didn't know whether to roll to the right or to the left. And now, I've lost control of my plane. So, I'm going to have to come off, because I, I rolled too hard. I couldn't control the the, weight at which I, uh, the rate at which I turn. Because if I wanted to do that, I'd have to roll back like this. Or slowly drag the mouse in order to control how I turn. But now, let's do it with the keyboard. And let me show you exactly what I mean. Already, see, I'm, instinct <laughs> I'm instinctively doing it here. But anyway, let's do a run on this guy here. I'm doing a run, firing my guns, and now boom, keyboard and mouse together. Look at this, I'm able to keep the target in sight. I've got my mouse right where I want it, right on him. I can pull whatever maneuver I want, control the plane. I can still see where he's going, still control the plane, I'm going to stall out here. Perfect angle, right on top of him, fire my guns, and again pull away while keeping him in my sight. It's amazing for situational awareness being able to use keyboard and mouse together like this. And like I say, you won't go back once you're used to it, but you can already see the difference between just using the mouse and the keyboard now. There we go, I'm just probably going to finish him off here. Got my cannons back. Oh, not quite finished him off there. Ah, bollocks. <laughs> Expert pilot skills there. But anyway, you, you, you kind of get what I'm trying to get at. Like, it's just so much better using the keyboard and mouse together. And I highly recommend that you practice. Um, use your mouse to keep your target in your sight while using your keyboard to make the maneuver, to turn, roll, whatever it is you need to do to get the target back into your sight. But yeah, that's basically it for this first video. Pretty simple, but it takes a while to master and it takes a while to know when to use what and, and how much you should use your keyboard versus your mouse and all that kind of stuff. But for, for a new player, for a beginner, 
all you should do is just set up your keyboard controls, something you're comfortable with, and then just practice using the mouse and keyboard together. Use the mouse to keep the, the, the target in your sight, and then use the keyboard to pull the maneuver, to roll, to do whatever it is you need to get the target back into your sight. And that's basically it for, for controls, I would say. Like, once you've done that, you practice, you play more, you'll get better at it, you'll get used to it. Trust me, it will improve your game immensely if you're just using the mouse. I, I genuinely don't know how you play if you just use the mouse. But um, anyway, I hope that's been a, a helpful and informative um, little guide on how to fly and use the keyboard and mouse in War Thunder. If you enjoyed it, please let me know. Give me a like. If you have any questions, um, if you want to know a bit more about my binds, then you can ask and stuff. And also, I will hopefully do... Uh, maybe a follow-up video on game of actually using the keyboard and mouse together and show you kind of why it's it's so important to use the keyboard and not just the mouse if you're a new player. But yeah, anyway, other than that, that's that's all, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and yeah, like I say, if you want if you want any uh, have any questions, just let me know. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys later.